Hello, viewers. Welcome to another exciting episode on Colony Geometry One. And in this episode, we'll be dealing with why they say the perpendicular line or two perpendicular lines have their gradient multiplied to give us what negative one. So two perpendicular lines. We want to know how we can find the gradient and the equation of perpendicular lines. Already we know that when you multiply their gradient, that is what normally we have. It will always give you a negative one. So let's pick the L1 uh, as gradient one. That's the first line. Then this is the second line. Now, we know from the previous episode that this line will give you a negative gradient. This will give you a positive gradient. All right, so we can apply that concept also. Then we know if I want to find the gradient, I can find the distance between the two lines on a vertical lane, which is parallel to the Y, then on the horizontal lane, which is parallel to the X, forming a right angle triangle. Right? Good. So we are going to use that concept in finding the gradient. Already we know gradient equals to the change on the Y axis over the change on the X axis. So let's begin with this very one. Now we know this line is going to be the distance on the y axis, the distance on the x axis. But let's assign them their values based on the quadrant we are finding it. We know this is x being positive, this is y axis being negative. So let me put this distance is going to be negative a. Then here is going to be b. I'm using a and b. But I'm taking the quadrant to represent their values. Okay, so this is the quadrant we are using. This is y value will be negative. So our gradient, okay, of which line, okay, so let me use two, is going to be the change on the y axis, going to be negative a divided by the change on the x axis. That is for the, the blue line. Now, you can see that if this is placed at the origin, we want to flip the, the line. If I flip it up this way, you see that this right angle triangle you are seeing here, this how to be. So this line has been flipped over to form this. Don't forget, if this forms 45, 45, the two will give us 90 degrees, forming the, the 90 as perpendicular we are looking for. So you can see that when it happened, the value of A has moved to the top. Forget about the sign. I'm only indicating the A and B. So when we move it from here, A is on the vertical stretch. But when we flip the line, this line now have A on top. Then you have what? B aside here. Meaning B is going to be here. But if B is here, it is parallel to this axis. That is Y. Which on this quadrant, Y is also negative. So B will be negative. Then on this axis, which is the y, like the x axis, is also negative. So our a will be coming as what? Negative. So a is unchanged, but the b will change by the flipping. We are flipping because of the different quadrants. When we flip, their positions change in terms of negative and positive. So our gradient 1 will be changed on the y axis, which will be negative b, the change on the x-axis which will be negative a from the previous episode we know this line will give us positive gradient so negative divided by negative it will cancel so we got a positive this line also will give us a negative gradient and you can see that so we are still on course based on the definition of the previous episode now back to what we know product of their gradient give us negative one so we are having gradient one times gradient 2 must give us a negative 1. That is what we want to prove. So let's check. The gradient 1 is minus b over minus a times gradient 2 minus a over b. We can see that, forget about the sign, if I see b here, it will cancel this. a here will cancel this. Then negative times negative, positive. So we are going to have negative 1 divided by 1 and that gives us what? 1. Negative 1. So we can say that truly 
the product of the gradient of two perpendicular lines. You know, when two lines are perpendicular, their meeting point, their intersection gives us 90 degrees. You know, this is quadrant 90. So since we are flipping 45, 45, 45 plus 45 gives us 90. So 90, 90, 90 all along. So therefore, if I want to find gradient 1, it will be negative 1 over gradient 2. That is dividing by M2. If I divide by M2, it will be having this. So it means that gradient 1 equals to the negative reciprocal of the gradient 2. The same way, the gradient 2 will also be equal to negative reciprocal of gradient 1. If this is true. I'm sure now you are convinced and know why the gradient of uh, the product of two perpendicular lines, their gradient, give us a negative one. Let's take a question to text this uh, concept. Okay, so we can have a question like this. We have to show that the equations 2y plus 3x minus 1 equals 0 and 2x minus 3y minus 4 equals 0 are perpendicular. So if they are, we have to find their gradient. So we can say that picking the first one, we have uh, equation one. Are we having two y plus three x minus one equals zero? We can find the gradient directly from here. We know gradient equals to minus a over b. Minus a is the number, the a is the number in front of x, b is the number in front of what? Y. So here my gradient 1 will be 3 negative comforts, then 3 divided by what? 2. And that gives us negative 3 on 2. Then for the equation 2, I'll be having 2x minus 3y for equals to 0. Then the gradient 2 will be minus a. And what is the a? The number in front of x. So 2 divided by this. That will be negative 3. So I'll be having 2 on 3. Now I know the gradient. So you can say that the two equations with an equation of a line are perpendicular. Let's just use this. If we have m1 times m2 equals to what? Negative 1. So let's prove that. Our m1 we had was negative 3 on 2. m2 we had was 2 on 3. Again, 2 will cancel, 2, 3 will cancel. You have your negative 1. Therefore, the 2... Equations are perpendicular. So that is one way by which we can text for it. It could also be given whereby one of the line each equation will be given to you, and a point on the other one with a perpendicular will be given. You'll be asked to find the equation of the other line. The same concept can be applied. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye bye.